Wedding videos for as low as 100,000 Naira? Gusto got you covered. Call 08061344639 or 08064406274. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome to Gusto News on Gusto TV Africa. My name is Emma. And yes, on today's news, we have Machala Big Weez. And yes, we also have Rema. And I'll be rounding up the news with Shay Yi Shay. But before going on to what we have for you today on the news, I want to say thank you for all you do for us here on the channel. We see all of it and we really, really do appreciate you. And yes, if you're coming across this channel for the very first time, guys, please do not forget to subscribe. And also do not forget to click on the post notification bell so as to know when we drop new content and new videos for you. All right, guys, so start it up. In the news, we have Big Wiz Machala. Yes, Big Wiz has been in the news a whole lot recently because, first of all, he's going to be shutting down the Accor Arena in September. I know immediately he put out, you know, the pre sale ticket. He actually sold out the gold section of that particular event in less than three minutes. And it's got a whole lot of people, you know, going crazy. Like, you know what, Big Wiz doing Big Wiz. And also the fact that. You know, recently when Banky W actually granted an interview with a booker and, you know, made some kind of revelations about Whiskey that we didn't, you know, really know. Whiskey actually came out to respond to this particular one with laugh out loud and people were like, okay, do you know, Whiskey has actually, you know, lost all of the respect he has for Banky W, you know, given the fact that he actually responded to everything Banky had to say in the interview with laugh out loud. People were like, you know what, Machala should have not even responded at all. But coming out to say laugh out loud, you know, to Banky W, who is actually, you you know one of the people who you know contributed to his success in the music industry right now they actually said that one was actually disrespectful of whiskey that he should not even have responded at all but that's not why we have big ways in the building right i'm going to be you know, telling you why we have big ways in the news today but also big ways is going to be performing at the let's get free you know conscious carnival that's going to be happening very soon so let's get free tweeted saying you don't need any other pattern when you are parting with whiskey ayo nigerian's own has nigerian's own has brought the essence of afrobeat to the world's main stage and and on Saturday, August 20th, Whiskey will do the same at Let's Get Free Big Vibes at a low cost. So yes, Whiskey is going to be performing at the Let's Get Free, a conscious carnival that's going to be happening in August, Saturday, um, August 20th. So also the reason why we have Whiskey in the news today is because Whiskey was spotted in the studio with Ira Star. And people were like, okay, now, Whiskey and Ira Star in the, in the studio and coupled with the fact that Whiskey is going to be dropping his album very soon. And the fact that he came into Nigeria and decided, you know, on this particular one, he worked with a whole lot of Nigerian, you know, a-list artists and Nigerian artists. So now seeing Whiskey and Arasta in the studio, people are like, okay, is Arasta going to be in Whiskey's More Love Less Ego album? Or is this, you know, um, some single that will be dropping very soon while Whiskey is going to be, you know, featuring Arasta or Arasta is going to be featuring Whiskey. But that one we do not know. But we know that having Big Wiz and Arasta on the song is definitely going to be nothing less than a banger so yes arista and whiskey spotted at the studio so yes we're exp expecting a collaboration very soon from the zoo all right guys so away from whiskey we have rema rema yes rema has been in a whole lot of interviews recently and has made you know a whole lot of revelations the fact that he's expecting to drop some collaborations with some artists in you know very soon so with some artists in nigeria very soon he made them mentions of olami day he made mentions of fireboy he made mention of obu he said yes it's gonna be dropping you know songs with those guys very soon and it's gonna be a banger also you know talking about the fact that he's gonna be giving us the waves and roses deluxe fashion so rema made that revelation in an interview and he also you know made another revelation with channels he talked about some of the struggles he had to go through and the fact that he had to he also you know talked about how he had to switch from you know gospel music to secular music he talked about his struggle in benin talked about the fact that when he lost his dad and his brother he didn't have anybody to turn to that was when he realized that you know what i need to get out there and make money to take care of my family and also the fact that he doesn't see a reason to go back to the gym you know talk, also talking about the fact that all of the hard work and hard labor he had to do back there in benin and also all of the hard work and hard labor he had to do 
in Ghana. So let's look at what Rem Rema had to say, say about his transition from, you know, doing gospel music to doing secular music. So he actually disclosed in an interview with Channel, you know, talking about the fact that, you know what, he just had to switch. He was actually, you know, the leader of a rap group in his church, you know, before that. He said in his own words, I wasn't being in when that switch happened a lot of people thought that when i got signed i started deviating no actually life was tough in Bini. i'm not that guy to ask the people in church to pay me because i am doing god's work so he said he didn't want to ask money from the church because he's doing god's work but then he did not deviate you know after he got signed to mavis he said um life was actually okay he said right there in Bini, i started going to competitions going to bars lounges political rallies just to get on the stage and hold a microphone to at least get spread some money to come back home and feed my family because we were going through tough times he also said i lost my father and brother and i needed to come through for my family at that point in time i felt like that where i started spacing out little by little until i just excised so he's saying you know at the point where he lost his dad and he lost his brother he just realized that you know what right now i need to go out and take care of my family and that was when you know he said spacing out gradually till he exiled out from doing gospel music you know into doing secular music and he also said according to him he said the transition was weird to him and his mom but he was unable to convince the letter about his choice he said it was weird for me and most especially for my mom because she was well known in church i didn't do much explaining explain, explaining i just told her to trust me rema says so he said it was actually weird you know for his mom being the fact that she was well known in church you know this christian mother thing now i know she was like okay do you know what are people gonna say what are they going to think about you and the fact that you're actually in charge like you're the head of a rap you know group in church and she said all he said to his mom is just to trust him and i'm sure the mom is actually proud of all of the amazing works you know rema is doing right now and yes rema is gonna be going on tour for his raves and roses album he has released the location for the top but he has not released the date and he said you know ticket inc information for the tickets would be dropping very soon so get ready because rema is going to definitely be in your city very soon all right guys so away from rema we have shay shay yes shay shay big girl shay shay the last time shay shay was actually in the news was when people were constantly dragging her you know about her statement with about rihanna and the fact she came out to talk about that she already knew rihanna was pregnant even before rihanna posted it on social media and people came out to drag she she left right and center and also they went ahead you know to criticize her outfit you know to the old to, to support davido and people were like okay most of you always love rihanna when she dresses a certain way why are you now criticizing shei she for dressing that type of way but that's not we have shei she in the building we have shei she because yes yeah, she just delivered a bouncing baby girl and she made this known on her you know twitter page and she said the greatest hit glory be to god yes she she just you know gave birth to a beautiful bouncing baby girl and i'm so you know she's so proud of herself there's nothing more beautiful than motherhood all right guys so we share share i'll be rounding up the news for today tell us what you think about the news in the comment section guys and we'll be in the comment section responding to all of your comments definitely all of your comments we see all you do for us here on the channel and we really really do appreciate you bye for now my name is Emma.